Let's bring in Peter Schiff. He's CEO of Euro Pacific Capital and Michael Cugino, President and Portfolio Manager at Permanent Portfolio uh, Funds. You know, Michael, if there's anything that we know about fiscal policy, it's that there's nothing permanent. Uh, and I wonder to what extent, as an investor, you can invest with any sense of confidence now that it may be, you know, another two months before we're dealing with sequestration. The debt ceiling looms just around the corner. Policy is increasingly ad hoc. Yeah, it is. And I would say don't do anything drastic uh, come Wednesday. I think, you know, we specialize in being diversified at all times, protecting investors against multiple scenarios on the downside, while also trying to make them profit from multiple scenarios. And so for, for us, that means being diversified, you know, pretty comprehensively between commodities, precious metals, various stock market sectors, U.S. and non-U.S., uh, as well as bonds of varying maturities and credit quality. So that's how we're playing it right now. Hey, Peter, what about you? Well, you know, the only way to avoid going over a fiscal cliff is to throw the dollar over a currency cliff, and that's probably what we're going to do. You know, you've got the president, you've got Congress. They want to spare Americans from the higher taxes. Well, there is no way to spare us from higher taxes. If we're going to have big government, we have to pay for it one way or another. And the politicians may not have the integrity to raise income taxes, but they sure are going to raise the inflation tax big time. So you've got to get out of dollars. You've got to you know, buy gold and silver. I agree with your other guests on that. Uh, look at these emerging markets. Anything you can do to get out of the dollar. Because if you're left holding dollars, you're going to be left holding the bag. Because the dollar is going to lose a lot of value because we have to, the government has to raise revenue somehow. What they're going to do is they're going to take our purchasing power. You know, Peter, we're five hours here from New Year's Day in the East, so I don't want to be all negative on New Year's Eve, but you and I probably think the same way about the demographic cliff that's coming. And this argument to me is going to be replayed over and over and over again as the nation ages and demands more money from the government and the government's going to realize the money's not there. If you believe that's going to be the case for the next 10 years, do you have a long term playbook for that? Yeah, well, we're not going to we're not going to survive as a nation, I don't think, over the next 10 years without a crisis. It's, we, we don't have that much time to age. We're, 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 we're pretty close to it right now. Maybe it happens in 2013. We're living on borrowed time, literally. We're going to have a day of reckoning. Foreigners aren't going to keep buying dollars and, ho and hoarding U.S. Treasuries, especially when they see how we undo everything we promised. Remember, we created the fiscal cliff by promising to deal with the deficit in the future. Well, now the future is now, and we're not going to deal with it. We're going to kick the can down the road again and hope nobody notices what we're doing. But the world is going to wake up to this, just like the housing bubble burst, the Nasdaq bubble burst. We've got a much bigger bubble that is the entirety of the U.S. economy. If you can see it in the Treasury market, in the dollar market, but but this whole thing is going to pop, and we're going to deal with it right now. This is not a problem for the future. It's a problem for the here and now. Michael, you're buying bonds. Yeah, I mean, our, our fear is that you have a deflation, a depression, another balance sheet issue or whatever, and treasuries, high-grade corporates, those sort of bonds will protect you. I, I agree with a lot of Peter's comments on the longer-term side of things. We're not only eroding purchasing power with higher taxes, but also with inflation and, and inflating away our currency. The only, the only control against that, though, is that the rest of the world is worse off than we are. And that's why pre you know, no, treasury not. prices have remained much uh, much higher. People are continuing to buy the dollar even when it was downgraded, buying treasuries, and despite all the woes we have here, they're worse in many other parts of the world. So I, I do agree that with That just shows you concerns. how irrational it is, that people bought the dollar as a safe haven from the dollar, or treasuries rather, but we're not better off than every place else. We're worse off. Yeah. We're, we're, we're uh, borrowing the guys say, though, guys, I, I, I agree. Hey, hey, guys, guys, with your count Michael and Peter, let's table this till the new year because we want to go out with a good feeling. We should go into it a little bit more, yeah. We, we, we will do it after the new year because it's getting to New Year's Eve. Peter, hey, and Mike, thank you very much. Have a great New Year's and a happy New Year. We'll see you and we'll continue the fight. I appreciate that you at least tried to find something positive to I, say Listen, how, it's we should New Year's Eve. Robes with candles, no, we should not. It's New Year's Eve. Let's, 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 uh, there's, there's, op there's reasons to be optimistic. Kelly, thanks very much. We'll see you with Larry. Thanks for having me.